Hello viewers, welcome back. Starting this video, we will be exploring some of the greatest features that has been introduced in the latest release of 3.0 since the launch of Tally Prime. Tally Prime release 3 offers a lot of features on the platter for ardent user of Tally Prime. The majority of the features in Tally Prime are GST enhancements, which will help millions of customers to achieve simple, trustworthy compliance and completeness with the stamp of simplicity. Apart from GST heavy features, there are features which will enhance the user experiences also. I will be covering the entire release features of 3.0 in multiple videos because in one video it is going to be overwhelming. Come, now let us go and dive into the magic world of release 3.0. In this video, I will be covering a gist of major enhancements provided in this release. Each of my bullet points will have many more wonderful enhancements and features under each one of these points. Let's start with the list. I will briefly highlight the features and in subsequent exclusive videos for each feature, we shall dive deep into the subject by understanding the whys, what's and how's of each of them. Highlights Tally Prime Release 3. First, we will cover enhancements related to GST module. multiple GST registration in single company. This feature is a long awaited wish list of our customers. Now you can have a single company in Tally Prime for multiple GST registrations, which was not the case in the previous releases. Voucher series for specific GST registration. Since you are now able to manage and maintain GST transactions of multiple registrations, Tally Prime provides you the facility of having separate series for each of your registration. From GST perspective, each registration is a separate set of data which will be maintained in a single company. One example of unique voucher series requirement is sequential number series for tax invoice for each of the GST registration. You can achieve this through this enhancement. Enhancement in dynamic data handling for GST returns. The data you capture can be dynamically handled with effective date to move the transaction to subsequent periods. Reconciliation of GSTR 1, GSTR 2A and GSTR 2B. Though we had in the earlier releases reconciliation of GSTR 2, the overall user experience was really not great. With this release, an enhanced and simple interface to reconcile GSTR 2A and 2B by importing the JSON file from your GST portal has been provided, which will immensely help you manage your input credit eligibility and claim, which is the lifeline of your working capital. Enhancement in speed to access large data for GST returns. In the earlier releases of Tally Prime, where a user has huge data and while accessing any of the GST returns, it used to take a good amount of time to open up the report. Now this enhancement allows to open the report in a fraction of seconds. Now we will walk through other enhancements. Retention of original voucher numbers for automatic or multi-user auto vouchers. This release provides the facility of retailing the original voucher numbers without changing the sequential numbering in case of addition, insertion or deleting of any voucher. The original number will be retained. What's more, in the case of all deleted vouchers, you can view the list of deleted vouchers and if required, reuse the same. Simplified report filters with option of 
basic filter multi filter and advanced filters we have been given a very powerful report filter feature in the form of range and value filters which we are aware of this requires proper argument to get the desired results in most of the cases especially for amateur users of tally the result will be blank due to the sequencing of steps now with this release the same feature has been greatly simplified with three levels as basic filter multi filter and advanced filters it's going to be fun working with report filters going forward payment request generation of payment link and qr code this is my favorite feature of release 3.0 you can configure your payment gateway or upi generate and share payment links and qr codes with your customers this is going to hasten your cash flow management enhanced data management experience from this release onwards tally has simplified and strengthened data management experience in the case of migration repair of data import and synchronization remember when you upgrade to this release your existing data must be migrated migration and repair status the migration status report provides information related to migration of masters and vouchers migration summary the user can now view migration and report summary which will help you identify the exceptions and resolve them easily connecting and disconnecting multiple companies on a single screen you can now connect or disconnect multiple companies for online access using a single screen this is time saving for businesses with multiple companies need to connect online for remote working synchronization or browser access latest income tax slab rate for new tax regime for financial year 2023-24 for the users of payroll module you have an updated income tax slab rate under new tax regime starting financial year 2324 as mentioned earlier we will have exclusive videos for each of these announcements in detail this is not the end there are many more small announcements and product improvements which we will learn as we traverse through the product once you execute tally and if you have not upgraded to release 3.0 you will notice on the right side button bar this message upgrade to latest tally release and also notice on top on the right hand side f1 help there is a red dot here this is an indication that the latest release of tally is available if your tss tally software service is active you can download it free if not renew your tss and download you can either click on the bottom button bar for upgrade or when you click on f1 help you will see the upgrade option here select upgrade and click you will now get the product update message box indicating your current tally prime release on your system and will also mention the tss validity of your software below here you will observe the latest release information with the status all you have to do is to select this and press enter you will get the upgrade message you can directly click on upgrade now or if you want to know what features of enhancements are provided in this release you can click on no more once you click on no more you will get this message to open tally help browser to view the release notes highlights on clicking yes or enter you will be directed to tally help page to view the release notes you can also download this in the pdf just by clicking here to download the release notes after you have read the release notes and now if you want to upgrade come back to tally application and select upgrade now and relax tally will auto update to release 3.0 now when tally opens 
and in your default data folder you will see the list of all your companies with the caption of migration required now first let us confirm whether you are on the latest release 3.0 so how do we view it click on f1 help and then select about and you will now see the release information where it says 3.0 and it is the latest release so let us just press escape and come back to the list of companies now all your existing data needs to be migrated this is required to accommodate the application enhancements to incorporate into your existing data important information if you have any additional customization for your company developed just check once with your developer the compatibility you can confidently migrate without any worry because tally is conscious about the importance and criticality of your data the migration process will take your data set and create a new set with tally's company number series from five digit if you notice here the company number here is five digit now once it gets migrated it will convert company series to six digit leaving your original tally data intact this is something wonderfully thought by tally now let us walk through and witness the migration process you will observe here that there are four companies and the company which is highlighted is the actual company data of my firm so first we will take my firm's data and if you notice here this company of mine has seven years data so let us take this company and then let's migrate select the company you want to migrate and press enter so now it's going to ask for companies username and password if you have already created once you log in you are going to get this message if you read this message you will know that tally is mentioning that the original data will be retained and in case the company where you have gst enabled so if you want to ignore the differences you can straight away specify that by clicking on the configure come come down here and then press enter and then say ignore to the extent of one rupee greater or lesser than the computer tax value press escape and now we are ready to migrate so click on migrate again it is going to ask you for the username and password so now you will observe that tally is migrating this seven years data and we are able to see the information that it is getting migrated so in the last seven years you will notice that there are 6162 vouchers in this company and now it is migrating all the vouchers to release 3 so this company is migrated successfully and it also says before migration they were 6162 vouchers and after migration also you have the same count of vouchers coming to the master before migration it says there are 911 masters and after migration this one extra master will get introduced due to the multi gst facility that is provided in release 3.0 so this extra one master is mentioned here what is the reason for adding this one extra master and the other instructions so once we are through with the migration just press escape and we log into the company so the company is now migrated important aspect for you to have the confidence of proper migration go to your gst report and see if there are any errors report this is my current year report there is no uncertain transactions here so let me go and change the financial year to the previous year alt f2 a22 m23 and now this is my entire year there are 710 transactions where again if you notice there is no uncertain transactions or corrections required that means basically my entire data is migrated properly and now i can go ahead and start working on release 3 let's view the company selection screen and now if you notice here this company is changed into six digit company number and like i mentioned earlier original company is intact and it is just renamed it saying that this company is migrated to 
3.0 .3 just in case for whatever reason you want to revert back to the earlier release of tally prime you can do so and just rename this folder back to the original company number which is 10001 and open this company in tally previous release and you are ready with your data and your data is intact where you have left let us now migrate this company where there are very few transactions related to the tedious aspect of it so i'm going to select this and i'm going to just straight away say migrate if you notice in this migration you will see again the total number of vouchers are only 10 and if you notice here it says before migration is 72 and after migration is also 72 why because in this company gst is not enabled both the companies have migrated successfully but just in case when you are migrating your data if there are any exceptions during the migration you will see here repair migrate exceptions click here and correct those exceptions. I hope this session would have been informative and for those who have still not migrated to release 3.0, this video would give you an assistance or confidence of quickly moving into release 3.0 and migrate your data. In the upcoming videos, we will explore each of these highlights that we have discussed starting with the GST announcements in the upcoming videos. Thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.